Hi everyone. Welcome to Virtual History 360. I'm here in Charleston, South Carolina on the U.S. Naval Base. I'm standing outside the Warren Lash Conservation Center and inside this building it houses a great mystery of the Civil War. You see, the Confederate Army decided to build a submersible. They were designing it to break the Union blockades. Now, if you look behind me, you can see a picture of what it looked like. And on the night of February 17, 1864, the Hunley sailed into Charleston Harbor and targeted the USS Housatonic. Now, the main weapon of the Hunley was a torpedo. It was a barrel filled with more than 90 pounds of gunpowder. They rammed the side of the ship, and the resulting explosion created a hole more than 10 feet wide. The Housatonic sunk in less than five minutes. The Hunley resurfaced, signaled back to shore that it was going to come home, but never made it. Now, what caused the Hunley to sink? We don't know. That's part of the mystery. Could have been the percussion of the explosion? Could have been other damage? We don't know. That remains to be seen. Conservation work is ongoing, and they expect it to take years to finally figure out what happened. But, interestingly, the captain of the Hunley was a man named George Dixon. Now, when he joined the Confederate Army, his girlfriend gave him a $20 gold coin, said it would be his lucky charm. Well, at the Battle of Shiloh in April of 62, he got shot in the leg. Well, lucky for him, that gold coin was in his pocket. Hopefully you can see it here. The bullet struck the coin, saved his life. He even had it engraved, my life preserver. When they raised the Huntley, they found his remains with the coin in his pocket. He kept it with him. Now, if you like videos like this, please subscribe to my YouTube channel for Virtual History 360. Thank you.